and I'll see a big shout outs to him. I think this is, his, yeah, this is definitely his third day that I've seen him come out here and get this far in bracket. So hopefully he will get a chance to actually take it over Shucky, but we'll see how things go in game one. I see Best Ness in chat looking to maybe take some possible uh, post match credit. <laughs> Oh, I'll definitely give it to Best Ness, man. If you coach Chucky, then I will definitely give Best Ness all the credit. Sometimes, man, coaches need that credit. And coaches need, uh, honestly, acceptance, man. Sometimes people be coaching and they'll be like, nah, I don't have a Smash coach. When in reality, man, even in big esports titles like League of Legends, they have a coach, and that's the norm. Uh, but Marvelous Marco, no coaching, only on to himself here, trying to get something started immediately with the boomerang and the bomb. Doing an excellent job just trying to cover the stage. What an aggressive play on the shield. Shucky with the classic Palutena and Neata shield as well to punish Marco. But great oh. awareness, man, avoiding the spin attack on that one. Nice use of the uh, tether grab there by Marco to swing his way out of uh, disadvantage, but he's still off stage. All right, good on Marco. I think at this point, you can tell Marco's overall game plan is trying to get something out of Shucky, specifically a jump out of shield or a jump to be able to hit him with forward air. Honestly, Tink, two links forward air. He's got some mighty strong knockback, and if you're not ready for it, holding the property eye, you will lose oh, your stock. Like so, like I said, mighty strong knockback. But honestly, good on Marco to see the platform there and then honestly understand, you know what? Shucky didn't go for a tech on the platform, and that's going to be all she wrote for stock one. Yeah, it's funny because usually Tilling gets grouped with a lot of the more like projectile heavy zoner characters, but in all honesty, the way especially players like Marco play the character, it's more akin to Snake and Duck Hunt as a trap oriented character looking for really hyper specific follow ups and knockback. Yeah, that. honestly, between the three links, I always tell people uh, Tilling is one of the most underestimated of the three. I honestly feel Toon Link as, as a whole is probably the second best of the three links, with obviously Young Link being the best one of the three, and then Regular Link being the third. And even then, Toon Link oh. is not a character that you see too often here, but Marco definitely trying to put in some work. 165, doing an excellent job surviving against Chucky, using the invincibility at the very last second to survive that explosive flame, and steals the stage for himself. That was such a well-placed explosive flame, too. <laughs> yeah. Marco, right, Marco using these fairs to keep Chucky off stage. Oh, that was a good, so that was a really good bomb toss because if Shucky had gone for an aerial play out of the ledge, the bomb would have covered that, and then Marco could have responded in kind. But also, it forces Shucky to evaluate: if I do not let go of ledge, the bomb will hit me. I may take some damage, and then Marco can read the roll or possibly the get up attack, depending on how he spaced that up smash. You see, Marco has used like the collision inherent in Smash Ultimate to basically force Shucky up at that point. It's wild. And it's honestly a good play too, because look, that's the one thing that Marco does a really good job at is using collisions from things like boomerang bomb oh no oh, no <laughs> man every oh, time no. every time i hype oh, up marco oh, bro no. he's got a sd <laughs> he's got to play horrible i don't know man sometimes i feel like marco gets mad he's like no vance don't hype me up let me just sd here you, you know he's laughing on his own stream or something right now <laughs> I, would, I would hope so man if i'm not laughing i'd be Pretty sad that I SD'd, but nonetheless, that SD is not going to do any this is, harm for Marco here because he's got. No, there's a big there. opportunity for Chucky to try and close out game one right here. Oh, not quite yeah. going to do it. Right, oh. Marco. I'll go for it, too. That was a really good call because the way Marco had set up the boomerang to cover the high recovery. But at that point, Chucky was trying to force to aim for the low recovery. All right, Marco going off the deep so, end. Uh -oh. Excellent parry here, and that might actually be it. Wow. Oh, it is. I was going to say, I feel like Shucky could have held the DI, but nonetheless, I would have never seen it coming, and the person who only saw it coming was Marvel's Marco taking game one. Actually, Do you I know if the multi-hits on... Uh, oh, it's all good. Do you know if the multi-hits on uh, Tooling Up B are actually SDI-abled in any extent? Because, like... I, uh, I there's might probably some limited extent to which DI could have covered Shucky in that situation. Right, I don't right, think right. so, but it's not. It's a question that just came to my mind. I don't think so either. Particularly speaking, when I think about all three links spin attack, it's the starting hit and the ending hit. They're the ones you have to be worried about the most. Because the starting hit will drag into the main hit in the air, and on the ground, the starting hit, depending on which link you're finding specifically, either has the most knockback or the least knockback. Uh, particularly in Link, it's the most knockback with the starting hit. And then with specifically Toon Link and Young Link, the starting hit will bring you into the rest of the hits, and it's the last hit that can have the most knockback. 
Kairos is always giving Marco a hard time. <laughs> he should, man. There are times where I see Marco play, and I'm like, Marco, I know you've been playing for so long. You should not be making these, like, day one Toon Link mistakes. That's a, I um, do think that one of the big advantages that Shucky might want to rely on more in game two is Palutena's shield, because for all of the work that Marco can put in using Toon Link's various uh, trap and zoning tools, uh, Palutena's shield just basically says, nah, to yeah. most of them. <laughs> and, and so the whether that... that is dash attack or back air, Palutena's shield, the way to go, I think. Yeah, honestly, using Palutena's shield, whether you're going, like you said, for back air or dash attack, dash attack really good for calling on smash attacks that are charged or just reading an opponent's landing. Back air, honestly, really good to call your opponent's aggressive play towards the stage. Palutena just has tools to shut down opponents in ways that some characters would necessarily struggle. And of course, that intangibility that comes from Palutena's shield is an amazing tool to have. And honestly, what makes her one of the best characters offline and a pretty solid pick online. And also, real quick, big shout out to Z Fly for resubbing. 63 months, let's go. Yeah, pretty much five years, man. That's five years worth of subs. Kind of like the start of the Smash 4 hype away from them. So, you know, Z Fly has been around since pretty much day one of the new era of Smash, all the way from, I think, even Brawl, if I'm not mistaken. So, nonetheless, here, uh, Shucky, like I said, looking to get a game against, against Marco and doing an excellent job just reading the landing, yeah. trying to use the explosive flame to stop Marco in his tracks. Marco finally getting a landing there with the down air, but look at Chucky responding right back. Do a lot of really good movement right now, just trying to get out of Marco's threat bubble while throwing out hitboxes Marco's been struggling with up until now. Yeah. That shot from Marco, no follow-up. Oh, great stuff from Marco, too, out of the way, though. Doesn't get the follow-up, but still keeps his eyes on the prize. Sees where Palatine is going to land towards and tries to take center stage. Great play, because that's the thing about... All three links and even <laughs> Zelda. That shield is actually active the whole time. That's the that crazy part. Yeah. All, Link, Young Link, Toon Link, and even Zelda's Knight and of Hero of all the characters, their shield is actually active the whole time against all the projectiles. There's a few moves that don't stop it, and you have to specifically hit Link oh, on the head. No. And Marco oh, will use that to Man, dude, Marco is playing. Oh. Mm. All right, that's a unfortunate way to end game two. Or oh, we're gonna see Marvelous Marco move on, I believe, unless uh, does that qualify as a? Yeah, so he's moved on from basically winners quarters all the way to lose winners finals. But man, Marco, he pretty much just ran a train. <laughs>